as always, if you want to follow us at Pro Wrestling Proverbs, make sure to look us up on the iTunes Podcast app. Also, if you have any tweets you want to send to us or you want to see what we have to say about things going on in the pro wrestling world, make sure you follow us on Twitter at PW Proverbs. You want to listen to us on SoundCloud instead of YouTube? Make sure you go to SoundCloud at SoundCloud slash Pro Wrestling Proverbs. And finally, anything you want to know about wrestling, anything we've commented on or said that maybe you agree with, maybe you don't agree with, well, make sure to send us an email at ProWrestlingProverbs at gmail.com. But, like all great series on television, on YouTube, on Hulu, we have a couple little snippets that weren't released when we got them done. This is going to be one of two DIYs created in Season 1, but released for you here in Season 2. I, of course, am host Logan Keith, and I am bringing to you the DIY on the missed opportunity for a potential Ric Flair 17th world title reign. Woo! Ric Flair, undoubtedly one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time, arguably the greatest. And in being the greatest, he of course has won the world championships 16 times between his time in the NWA, WCW, and the WWF. Now imagine if instead of 16 times, it was 17 times. And that's where I come in to explain to you why I believe Ric Flair should have won the World Heavyweight Championship one last time in the WWE, whether that be in 2002 or 2008. I'm Logan Keith, and here's PWP's Wrestling Booking DIY, Ric Flair, One Last Run Edition. My first idea comes in at 2002, when Triple H was awarded the Big Gold Championship from Eric Bischoff. He, of course, was awarded it. Because undisputed champion Brock Lesnar went to SmackDown, no longer would fight on Raw, so they needed a championship for Raw. Eric Bischoff brought out the big gold title as he is closely associated with WCW. The big gold title is closely associated with WCW. And it was nice for the title to have someone like Triple H start out with it. But what would have been interesting would have been for Ric Flair to be the first person to officially win the championship. Triple H and Ric Flair had a feud at the time. It was a to be the man, you have to beat the man feud. Triple H, of course, beat the man. And this led to Ric Flair partnering up with who he viewed as the man, the new dirtiest player in the game. But instead of losing to Triple H, what if he would have won? Ric Flair is already on a career resurgence at this point, uh, coming off a strong match with Undertaker at WrestleMania 18, matches with Stone Cold, matches with eventually The Rock, Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, also, way down the line, Shawn Michaels, Batista, Cena, Orton. The Ric Flair's career in the WWE is nothing to scoff at. Of course, winning the Intercontinental and World Tag Team titles in 2005 and 2006, respectively. He is 56 and 57 at this point. So why, in 2002, when he was 53, would it be that strange for him to have won a world title? As I said, imagine him beating Triple H. Uh, Triple H could be shocked, surprised, and Ric Flair could then go on to have good feuds with Chris Jericho, who the charisma between the two, the talking, the taunting, would have been just magic in the ring. Rob Van Dam was a big Raw competitor at the time. Booker T, imagine two of the better WCW talents fighting over the title from WCW, or even the Big Show. It could have looked like Ric Flair's going to lose, and then Big or Randy, Ric Flair's dirty-handed tactics end up getting him the win. He could then lose it back to Triple H months later, a la when Shawn Michaels won it in 2002 at Survivor Series and lost it back to Triple H later. It, it would have just been a nice nod to the man who helped amplify what this title meant. My second world title win idea for Ric Flair comes in 2008. At this time, he was going through his 
retirement storyline. If Ric Flair were to lose a match, he would have to retire. He came out and said one night, I'll never retire. And that's when Vince McMahon laid down the guidelines. Imagine, if you will, Ric Flair going and going. And then finally Vince telling him, you know, you've gotten lucky. What if at the Royal Rumble, you face Edge for his world championship? And of course, if you lose, you retire. Ric Flair in this scenario is replacing Rey Mysterio who fought Edge. Um, Ric Flair could win with, again, a roll-up, catching Edge off guard. Ric Flair, the 17-time world champion. In order to set up a WrestleMania match, you could have Shawn Michaels win the Rumble this year instead of um, John Cena, who came back this year and won it. But just imagine just Ric Flair winning the World Championship at the Royal Rumble. He would have a big celebration, but then the next night on Raw, Shawn Michaels comes out. That's when they do not only the old yeller that they talked about in the feud that they actually had up leading to Mania, but telling him, I'm going to take that title from you. I'm going to do something I never got to do. I'm going to beat Ric Flair for a world championship. That'll put me up there with Hogan, Sting. I'll be one of, I'll be one of 17 men to beat you. Harley Race, Dusty Rhodes, Shawn Michaels. This feud will just amplify what the last one was. Of course, Shawn and Ric Flair putting on a great match at Mania 24 anyway. There's no doubt they can do it for a world title as well. Until the WrestleMania match, you can have Ric Flair redefending his title against Edge. Uh, this could even set up... I would still do Edge and Undertaker at Mania, just without the title. You don't need the title. It's the Undertaker and Edge. Undertaker at Mania is as good as a title. You can even at one point have either a tag team match where it's Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels versus Edge and Undertaker or Ric Flair and Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels and Edge or even a fatal four-way between these four, at the time, future Hall of Famers. Ric Flair would still go on to lose the match at 24, but it, his long career would be capped off with a heavyweight championship, a 17th world title. I believe that Ric Flair deserved a championship at this time for all the hard work he put into the WWE on this run, especially, as I said, since he came in supposed to just be an authority figure or just be a GM, but he started putting in match after match, whether it be, as I've said, with Stone Cold, Undertaker, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Mick Foley, tag team matches against Rated RKO, the Dudleys, Ric Flair did it all between 2001 and 2008. There will never be another Ric Flair, and that's why I believe that the WWE should have given him this one last title. And is it so crazy that at 53 in 2002 or 59 in 2008, he won a heavyweight championship? I mean, Vern Gagne won his last AWA championship at 54. Hulk Hogan won his last undisputed championship at 53. And Mick Foley won the TNA championship at 44. So it is not crazy. Wrestling, of course, the land of opportunity for young and old. And I believe that the Nature Boy had one last run in him to where he would have been the limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, 17 time world champion. Woo! Now, if you liked this episode of PWP DIY, make sure you follow us on Twitter at PW Proverbs, where you will see polls from us regarding events or maybe your favorite superstars. Um, retweets from us where we will retweet professional wrestling personalities, superstars, and other podcasters to give you up-to-date news as it happens. If you want to stay updated on pay-per-views such as WWE, TNA, Ring of Honor, NXT, New Japan, then make sure you follow our SoundCloud at SoundCloud slash Pro Wrestling Proverbs. And finally, is there a DIY that you want done? 
do you think that I was wrong in suggesting Ric Flair needed one more championship? Not for his legacy, but just as a thank you to all he's done. Do you think that it could have happened another way? Perhaps the night he fought Edge in the TLC match? Then make sure you give us an email at proverbs at gmail.com. I've been Logan Keith, and this is Pro Wrestling Proverbs Wrestling Booking DIY Ric Flair One Last Run Edition. Woo! No doubt, one of the candidates for the wrestling Mount Rushmore. Ric Flair didn't necessarily need that title reign, but it would have been cool to one more time see him walk that aisle as the man of World Wrestling Entertainment. Now, of course, if you like this DIY, we have many more on our YouTube channel. We have previous ones from Season 1, including The Undertaker's Streak and The Road Warriors Returns to the WWE. And we're going to have some more for Season 2, starting with Shawn Michaels' Return to Wrestling. Of course, as I said early in the video, this was supposed to be a Season 1, and this is a Part 1 of two releases that you fans may not have gotten. So stay tuned as we will not only release this Ric Flair DIY, but we will release a WWECW DIY. So to stay up to date on everything Pro Wrestling Proverbs, look us up on iTunes, follow us on Twitter, listen on SoundCloud, listen on YouTube, and send us an email on our Gmail. I'm Logan Keith. And you have a great rest of your morning, eve, or night.